What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another special video. The Sunday Stock Watch is where I give you all the stocks that I like, all the stocks that I dislike. We go over the charts that we're possibly looking at for this week, the economic calendar, and then the earnings for whatever we have left. We're coming towards the end of the season, and obviously, they're not too important. We actually do have a few stocks that we're going to talk about this week that might be important. Last week, I wasn't a big, a too big of a fan of any of the earnings that were going on, but we'll go ahead and get started with this video. So, this is the economic calendar. If you want a clearer picture, go to my Instagram, Trade Like Nor. I only have three Instagrams, Nor Trades, Trade Like Nor, and Stock Hours. Please don't get scammed, especially in the comments too, because Nor Trades, I see a lot of fake uh, YouTube comments with my name in it. But you have to remember, I'm verified on YouTube. Don't fall for that. I will never WhatsApp you, never ask you to send me money, never ask you to send me crypto, whatever the case may be. So hit that like, subscribe, comment down below what other stocks you'd like to see in this video and what other videos you'd like to see on this channel. So here's the economic calendar. Monday, not much going on. You have Raphael speaking, Neil speaks, Thomas, I'm not too interested. Tuesday, a few people do speak. Um, you have industrial production, business inventories, housing market index. Wednesday, you have housing starts and permits. Not much going there. Thursday, you have jobless claims. Uh, you know, someone else speaks. Uh, Philip speaks. Existing home sales. Not too much going on. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. All right. So Friday, Jerome Powell speaks at 11 a.m. Quarterly service survey. John Williams speaks in the morning before market open. So Jerome Powell speaks by 11 a.m. on Friday. So I'll probably be gone by then. I don't really stay that long on Fridays. The latest I'll stay on Fridays is probably 11 a.m. So uh, that'll be interesting. I don't know if I'll stay after just because he's talking, but we'll see. So here's the earnings for this week. Not much going on Monday at all. Literally nothing that I care about. Rumble is actually public. I didn't even know that. Uh, they report after close on Monday. Tuesday, Home Depot. That's pretty important. They give a lot of insight on what's going on with houses and stuff like that. So it's cool. Uh, Wednesday, we have Target, Cisco, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Not really anything else there. Thursday, you have Alibaba. That's very important. Walmart. Uh, other than that, I don't really care for. Friday, Foot Locker. Um, but yeah, that's the earnings for this week. So let's go ahead and get started with, uh, you know, stocks that we're looking at. So if you look on the SPY chart, we've just been in range. And it kind of sucks because it's literally just chop. Mm, mm, up, down, up, down, up, down. You can see. So how do we get out this chop? So the, how do we get out this chop? We have to break above 417 to the upside and to the downside. We're going to have to break basically below 405. So under 405, um, that's the break of the chop. Obviously, you've seen a low around 40374. Yes, that's going to be very important. But if we hold below 405, that's probably all the market's going to need because you can see none of these candles on the four hour ended up closing below 405, right? So Let's go ahead and get started with the watch list. The first thing I'm going to put is Apple. You guys love this because this thing pays and the contracts are very cheap. Now, uh, what am I looking at on Apple? So Apple's one-year high is coming up very, very soon here. It's the 176 level, uh, which was the one-year high. Now, if I put this on the three-year high, you can see that obviously the high was 182. But the one-year is coming in hot. Now, what am I watching on Apple? So I'm watching... The 174.59 level into 175. After we break 175, I am watching this into 176. And if we get that 176 break uh, and, and we get the volume that's necessary and the right market conditions, you know, Apple could have a very nice squeeze here. Now, can this be a double top? 100%. So we do have to be on point here. Now, I am bringing up Apple just in case we get that momentum type of day. And you could see Apple can move. Like, for example, this day... Uh, the stock ends up going from 161 to 166. That's a lot for a stock that's $160, especially Apple. That thing pays. Excuse me. So that's what I'm watching on Apple because of that one year high. The next thing I'm watching is a stock that's also stuck in range here. Now I got to lower this to the one hour here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Ever since earnings, we kind of pushed, consolidated, consolidated. Now we're kind of consolidating in the same area here. And under 230, we start that one year gap from the earnings that we currently had or just recently had at least. Now, the, the gap is $16. It leads all the way down to basically like 214. And it's a little scary uh, for a stock like that. Now, do I think it's going to do all that in one day or even one week? No. Uh, is it possible? 100%. It's 100% possible. Meta does move. Now, 
as a scalp or a trade uh, during a day. I'm not looking to swing. I am looking at the 230 to the downside. We can break 230 to the downside. Obviously, we need to get through 229.85, but if it gets right through that, I'm looking at 227.50 and then 225. Now, we have a trend on the one hour that leads this down to 221 where it'll find support, but based on meta, I don't like the reversals when I hold a little too long, so I'll be paying attention see how much momentum this has to the downside. That's also $9 to the downside, so I doubt it. Uh, but that is something I'm watching for Meta for sure. 230 into 227.50 into 225. And obviously, if it's possible and the market conditions allow me to, room down to 221. The next thing I'm watching is Netflix. Uh, Netflix, it's a little far. I'm not really too interested because I don't think it's going to happen. But if it does, I'll be here for it. Now, I'm looking at this 348 level. We break 348, we have room up to 350. If we break 350, I have room into 355. And obviously, we're going to start getting into this, uh, you know, high congested area, which was between like 370 and like 355, 350, 354, I would say. Oh, 352.50. So anywhere between... You know, 37 of 352. This is a congested area. Got stuck in this area, held for a pretty long time from January 23rd all the way down to February 16th. So about a month of worth consolidation, almost kind of what we got going on on spot. So I am watching Netflix, possibly if we can even get up there this week, 348 to 350. And from 350, I am watching 355. Netflix can move and it does definitely pay. Now, what am I watching here? Tesla. Put this on the one hour. You guys can see we have a flat bottom here. Forget about this. This was some intraday stuff that I forgot to remove. The one hour here on uh, Tesla, we have it here at 166. I am watching this to the downside, 166.50. I'll probably start my position at 167, but this closed at 167.98. And we're at 167.20. So any type of move here overnight, futures haven't opened yet. Probably open around 165. So hopefully we kind of open up in the same area here. And I can take this and, and find the opportunity here. So I'm watching, for example, 167 to 166.50. Now the safest entry is probably around 166.50 into 165. And then from 165, I'll judge the momentum. But this has more room down to about, let me put this on the 30 minute. Uh, we have more room down to like 160. I don't see any issue because this was another range you guys can see, obviously right here. Top, bottom, top, bottom. And then we finally broke out here and you can see the volume. When we broke out so that's something to pay attention to i am watching tesla to the downside upside not interested and it's pretty pretty far away now another stock that i'm watching possibly a shop uh you know to the downside here but i'm not really too interested uh they just had earnings they smashed it so i don't want to go and try this yet. yeah i'm not even going to mention this in the uh watch list here so basically the most important things that i'm watching this week is apple Meta, Netflix, Tesla. And that's about it. Uh, I, I did have Google, but I don't like how Google moves. I don't know. You guys tell me. Do you guys like the way Google moves? I'm not really too much of a fan. You guys can see we have a consolidation and then a break to the 118. Obviously, if it happens, I might try it based on how much momentum this has. But 118 does look solid. I'm just not too big of a fan of how uh, Google moves. Everybody has their preference and everybody, there is no right way of trading. I mean, if someone could trade this way, someone could trade this way. And both people can make money. That's the uh, that's the uh, pros of trading. So yeah, 118 possibly if we get the momentum. I am watching Google. So that's your little bonus side watch that I have for this week. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you guys uh, supporting me. 70,000 subscribers. I love you guys, girls, every, everyone else. And I hope to see you guys this week. Make sure you turn the alerts on. Do not miss the live trades and the live posts on Instagram. Because I might update you guys on my watch list. So. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.